Hi, this is Norm with PDI Technical Support. In this instructional video, we'll be looking at some unique customizations of the TV that most customers overlook when they install their PDI Healthcare television. Before we begin, you'll need to have the PD-108-420 remote control. Um, if you would, follow along. Okay, with the PDI programming remote control, turn the TV on and press the setup button. We do have in the features menu some items that uh, allow you to kind of tweak and fine tune the TV. For example, um, when the TV is turned on, the first item is the power on caption mode. The next setting is the auto power on off or lock. And what this does is it disables the power button so the TV will be on at all times whenever AC power is supplied to the TV. And one of the other settings that we have is the inactive power off setting. And what this allows you to do is set an amount of time that the TV can run. It'll look at the last control input and it'll start a timer. If it doesn't see another control input, it actually will shut off. The next setting is the bed A, bed B setting. You may supply a patient remote and you would have one TV set for bed A and the corresponding patient remote set for bed A and the second TV set for bed B and the corresponding patient remote set for bed B. Caption text mode is typically disabled. Same with digital captions and digital mode time setup. In the diagnostic menu, if we activate it, it'll show several different things. It'll actually show you the number of hours the TV has been turned on. In this situation, it's been on 299 hours. Um, it's been plugged in the wall uh, a total of 1,802 hours. That's the, the field powered on hours. Um, below this are the two uh, important read-only settings that display the version of firmwares in the TV. The TV actually has two different microprocessors, an I.O. micro that handles the reading of the keypads and the uh, control ports of the TV, and a main firmware uh, version, which is the firmware version uh, resonant in the TV. The channel up, power off, um, item as the patient channels the TV up, for example, with a single button pillow speaker. When they hit the top channel, the next button press will turn the TV off. Channel to other sources. If you have other sources enabled to the TV, it'll allow those sources to appear in the channel lineup. The last two items, power on ARC mode, allows you to set the screen resolution. And the final setting here is the slot standby power, and this is typically left to enabled. One of the other items is the on-screen language display, and um, this is strictly for the menuing of the TV. The last item here is the sources set up. What this allows us to do is turn on the individual inputs on the side of the TV. Enabled APO stands for auto power off or enabled no APO meaning that it won't auto power off. Finally the last item here is power on sources and what this is is when the TV is turned on any of the enabled sources you can set it to come on to that particular source. And finally, we have the FM radio source. It, what it allows you to do is to program FM radio channels. So I'm going to just select the auto program feature. Once it's found active um, FM channels, those will appear in the channel table in each service level. You can go in and manually add or delete channels. For this example, FM station 105.9 was found. And I, if, if that's one that you don't want to have, you can disable that by selecting uh, disabled.
thank you for joining me on this instructional video. And please remember we have other videos on our other products available on our website. Thank you.